government research polls have shown that more high school and university age students casted their ballots in the last federal election than those of previous years. We spoke with students here at Humber College's Lakeshore campus to find out why they voted in the last federal election, who they voted for, and how they feel about the current government. I always vote because I want to express my democratic right. Um, I kind of follow along, like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably say I'm like a 6 or a 7. Yeah, um, I vote obviously because I want to see change, uh, and I would say probably like on the scale, I'd be probably a 6 as well. Uh, like, this year was my first year of voting, but I'd say like I'm a 6 on a scale of 1 to 10 too. Like, I'm aware, but not fully. And who did you vote for in the last election? Green Party. Green the Green Party, Party yeah. Okay, awesome. uh, environmental issues, I guess, and they're really, they don't even, I don't even think they have a seat in the parliament, so they're underrepresented. I voted for the Liberals um, because at the time, like, I met Justin Trudeau. His message was quite moving. And how do you feel about him now? I haven't looked into too much detail as to, like, what's going on. I know they did pass the motion M103, which I... I'm like not against, I'm actually for it. There's a lot of issues within like Canada and the United States um, that have come to the point where it's time that we definitely take a stand. Some of the students we spoke to reported voting for a candidate their parents preferred. To be completely honest, I like know nothing about politics and anything. So at the time, like I just turned 18. So like I just kind of voted the way my parents did. So I didn't really know anything. And who did you vote for? I think it was the conservative one. Yeah, my mom made me. <laughs> and I've heard like a lot of positive things about Trudeau and also some negative things, so it's kind of like a mix. I mean, I think I kind of like him. It's like I said, I don't engage too much in it. Like I know I see little things here and there, but I never like, you know, see the dramatic, like see uh, different changes in the, the political spectrum. Some said they didn't vote at all. Well, I feel like you could say so much, but you won't always be heard. So I felt like if I voted, will the person I want be in power and I just decided not to. I'm like, there's no point. Still, the legalization of marijuana and indigenous rights issues came up as popular discussion points, even from those who said they didn't vote. Judging from what's happening to the aboriginals, their suicide rate is really high. They have no clean water and it, it's like, this is their land. So why can't our government accommodate them, but they can accommodate all of us. It's just for them to be like, oh yeah, we run things but you guys aren't helping the people. You're supposed to be for the people to help. Well, my main, like, as I mentioned before, the whole marijuana situation, I'd like to see him do a creative way to make it work for both sides, where we can have it legalized, but it's controlled enough that it's good for those who may not want it legalized, that they're like, okay, I can handle that. The debate of legalizing marijuana, which I'm totally for, if it, it became stagnant because he was not willing to decriminalize it first, which would have been an easier vote. It also would have helped a lot of people. A lot of people who um, were getting arrested and put time in jail uh, for nonviolent crimes, uh, especially members of minority communities who were, you know, specifically targeted. It's definitely an issue I kind of wish was uh, better addressed. Other students said the current government had yet to make any real changes. Um, I don't see any progress. It's been moving very slow. I don't see anything happening in terms of, you know, making sure that um, the youth in this country actually have a future where they can be successful and not have to be in um, the huge numbers of debt. Um, he's cried and said, I'm sorry to the aboriginals, but is crying going to fix the dirty waters in communities? No. Is crying going to fix the broken homes that they are living in? No. Is crying going to fix the mental health issues and suicide rates of these aboriginal communities? No, it's not. So I don't see anything great that he's done at all. We have yet to see how sentiments will change in the coming years. For Skyline.com, I'm Madeline Arias.